is our quiet anchorage in Lembe Strait. The area is known for its world-class muck diving. During our time underwater, we see frogfish, mimic octopus, and other bizarre creatures, many of which we'd never seen before. It's early in the morning. The water is like glass as we slowly slip away from our Lembe Strait anchorage. The weather forecast looks favorable, and we should have 8 to 15 knots of wind on a broad reach for the entire trip. Well, it's another early morning uh, departure this morning. We are leaving the fascinating Lembe Strait this morning in Sulawesi, Indonesia on our way to Halmahera Island as we head out up to Palau. So we'll stop for a couple nights, maybe one night in an anchorage in Halmahera up north and then we will continue on to Palau. It's a gorgeous morning this morning, even a bit chilly. We all have goosebumps. It's probably 80 degrees. <laughs> but we're all quite cold. I think our blood has definitely thinned out. We no longer have that thick, hearty Colorado blood that can withstand cold temperatures. We've turned into tropical weather wimps. Praying this morning for a safe passage and for um, smooth entry into Palau in the next couple, uh, in, about, in about a week. And um, yeah, off again. 150 miles to go. We're doing uh, eight, eight and a half knots, but the wind's gonna die down. So we're gonna have that much wind today. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and the cribs will be wrong. Yeah. We'll be they're, they're always the wrong. It's just that they're wrong in the right direction for us. So if they're wrong in the right way. Right way. Speaking of wrong, in the wrong way. <laughs> what? How was your checkout yesterday? Wrong. Yeah, so we would not wrong. recommend people clearing in or clearing out of Bitang, uh, North Sulawesi. It's a long Those story. Guys were They're crooked. Sleazy. Very sleazy. Immigration was sleazy. They got asked for money. Customs was sleazy. Bribery. bribery. Some Take... guy, one of the guys said, no pay, no clearance. Yeah, no, no pay, no clearance. That was in immigration. I refused to pay. Long story short, um, we got, we left. I took a photo of him and I was looking up the anti-corruption group and Indonesia to report the guy. I was so ticked off, but anyway, just very sleazy people and in Batang. Do not come to Batang to check in or check out. They're sleazy. And we've never had a problem in two years of Indonesia. Everybody's been wonderful. Yes. Immigration, customs, we'll this that. is across the board. Otherwise, otherwise it's been fantastic, but these guys here are real jerks, so I wouldn't recommend it. A bad taste in your mouth yeah. as we leave, so it's kind of a bummer. It's like a sad way to leave this country. But we're happy to leave. I mean, we're happy, to leave. happy to leave these guys, but we're not happy to leave. The diving was great, anyway. So we're on our way, and that's where we're heading. And we hope to uh, have some good sailing and uh, good weather as we head up and start dodging the typhoons. And that's field trip for this morning, at least. Do a quick shot out here as we're sailing. It is just beautiful, beautiful out here. It's about 11:15 uh, in the morning, so we've been sailing now for just over five hours. We've had uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 knots of wind on the beam. And you can just see out here how gorgeous it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Very flat. You can see the ripples. There's some ripples that you'll see out on the horizon. Maybe you can see them or not. That's actually current. So the wind's the same. It's just there's uh, wind against current. So pr it, pr it produces some sort of a white cap chop. But we're kind of in the middle here of this little uh, eddy of sorts with the current. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Got our code zero up with our main. And it is just very nice sailing right now on field trip and we're fishing but we don't have any fish just yet we're hoping to snag a yellowfin tuna for some sushi but uh, so far not any luck but that's we're trying to way back on the horizon back there our friends uh Ilimite, they're heading the same spot we are beautiful 
Okay, so we are um, almost arriving now to the uh, first anchorage on our hop up to Palau. I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes just showing you exactly how aboard field trip we um, identify where we, we want to anchor and also um, how we uh, sort out the uh, satellite imagery using, in our case, uh, SAS Planet. We'll do a whole, a whole nother video on SAS Planet and show you the details. But the bottom line is I wanted to show you a little bit more in detail just exactly how we um, establish our anchorages. So what I want to do is uh, show you over here on the screen where we are and what we're doing. So we are actually, we have sailed from over here, which is the um, Limbe Strait, and we are going all the way over here for our first stop in this general area. We went through and looked at the details of where to anchor, and we liked the looks in particular of Doi Island or Pulau Doi. So if I zoom in here with the imagery, you can see this really beautiful beach and what looks like from the satellite imagery, all sand through here. So what we've done and what we always do on field trip is we, first of all, we, we outline, which we've done here already in advance, the reef. So this is an, an outline of the reef here and an outline of the reef here. The reason why we do that is we will take this outline and upload it to our chart plotters so that we can see this reef outline um, on our chart plotter. The second thing that I've done is I have actually um, put some lines here. and these, these perpendicular lines to the reef are 50 meters. Uh, 50 meters, 50 meters. I know that this is going to be probably in the 10, you know, 8 to 10 meter range anchoring in this area just based on the color of the uh, water. Probably 4 or 5 meters up in this area. But I want to be able to uh, know very easily when we anchor that if I draw a line that's per that, that parallels the reef at 50 meters, I know that I'm okay to anchor anywhere in this area. And if I have a five to one scope with 10 meters, I've got swing room. If I anchor over here, I still have swing room to not be bumping into the reef in case the winds change. So this line right here is my 50 meter anchor line. Do not anchor inside of this line, inside of this area, basically. And this little patch over here happens to be a little bit of reef that we had see on the satellite, so I've just outlined that reef. Now, when I've done this, I actually export this and then I re-import this into Time Zero. And Time Zero is the um, software that we use that communicates with Furuno. So then I can now upload these outlines from the satellite imagery of this anchorage we want to check out and uh, put it into um, on the chart plotters up at the helm. Quick summary of that and we'll see what Sarah is up to actually at the helm. So she is in charge of bringing us into the anchorage, right Sarah? That's what I'm doing while I'm eating lunch and cooling off. Loving this fan, yes. Michael is showing me what he did for his game time today. Okay. And that's... That's it. That's it. And then down here is the chart plotter you see that I was just talking about. And you can see as I scroll down and zoom in, you can see the waypoints that we've uploaded that are on our chart plotter and the anchoring area, which is right in there. So that is how we do it aboard field trip utilizing SAS Planet. And I will give you more details for sure on SAS Planet. It's a whole other conversation, but it's been, a, been something that we utilize all the time on field trip. It's a very key part of our navigation, uh, utilizing different satellite imagery. This happens to be the point, and it's a beautiful view of our arrival to our uh, first anchorage as we head up to Palau. We are here, almost here. All right, we, had, we are arriving to that spot I was showing you on the satellite imagery. This is what it looks like in real life. So you can uh, see just how beautiful and peaceful this place is. It's gorgeous. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet The morning's just begun I don't remember much From the night before just from We are getting ready to anchor. It's been about uh, 36 hours of sailing and it's not quite that long, but it's been a good little bit. 
maybe 30 hours of sailing and we've gotten to that beautiful spot. It looks really good. Got the white sandy beaches, got some looks like small fishing camps with the smoke coming up on the on the in the jungle, but it's just absolutely beautiful here. So you can see over there the smoke from the fires coming up from I guess the fishing villages, we hope. They're not uh, man eaters, cannibals cooking up people, but we'll find out. And now my mind is a mess, my heart is pounding fast. Oh, I wish that you could stay. back hard we're at low tide the closest we're going to get to the uh to the reef and it's perfect so it's and the wind doesn't blow this way anyway but you come back someday and here's a view on the chart plotter with the field trip pulled back you can see our stern is uh still has plenty there we go still has plenty of plenty of space on the back and that is how you anchor safely but still getting close to the fun stuff with uh everybody is Gotten ready to go swimming. Isn't that right, honey? It's like boom. It's hot. It's nice and still in here, which makes it comfortable, but it makes it very hot. Stagnant air. Really hot. Yeah. So I have my nice um, Muslim appropriate, politically correct swimming suit on, my skin suit, which also helps with stinging little jelly things that like to sting you. There's probably not any here, but you never know. So, we wear these when we are in uh, Muslim countries. It's not. I don't know.